So today we're going to uh, check out one of my uh, new guns. It's a STI Guardian in 9mm and it's got a 3.96 inch bull barrel. It has a steel frame and a steel slide. And so let's get to it. Uh, it has uh, Coca Bola grips, uh, thin grips, uh, has the safety only on one side. These are TAS uh, rear sights, they're adjustable for elevation and windage. Get the focus a little bit. They are three dots, so I'm not crazy about that. I'll probably black out the the two dots on the back. They don't help me. I guess some people like them, but it seems to be what they put on them from the factory, and then the first thing everyone does is change them. But um, is a steel uh, slide and a steel frame. It has a Recoil Master uh, guide rod. Um, it, I, I'm not used to it, so uh, maybe if I shot it enough, I would like it. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. It just feels different than what I'm used to. Um, it definitely softens the recoil, but um, doesn't uh, seem to close the slide, at least not like I'm used to familiar with. It has a reverse uh, guide rod plug and uh, so we'll see how it goes. To the side and it's a two spring system and I've never uh, had much I don't have much experience with a recoil master but I believe you push that out and you slap snap this little thing on right here and you can let it down and that keeps the under tension and then you can slide it out this way all right I'm probably going to replace this uh, with a single guide rod and it's a little bit easier uh, probably to change my uh, recoil springs out to match whatever weight uh, bullets I'm using at the time. And put that down. And then that's it. So that's 9mm and uh, bull barrel. So it's, it's pretty heavy. <clears throat> like that. So I'm going to guess that's about four and a half pounds or so, maybe five. It says 4.38. Says 4.3. 4 So oh, that's the main spring housing. We'll bend one of these uh, here on the left. We'll bend that back just a little bit and um, maybe just a tad on the uh, sear spring. Not too much. It, it won't reset if you bend it too much, but we'll see if we can get it to uh, decrease the trigger pull maybe by half a pound or so. Okay, so after we've uh, bent uh, the leaf spring back just a little bit, let's see what kind of trigger pull we get. Should be a little bit less. There's 2.15. Three pounds, three ounces. What I'll probably end up doing is replacing the guide rod, uh, taking the uh, recoil master out, putting just a solid guide rod in, putting a mag well in with a uh, mainspring housing 
uh, probably all one piece here, uh, either a Dawson or a Smith Alexander. Uh, single stack's kind of hard to hit, it's not very beveled. It's, it's as beveled as they can make it without having an add-on mag weld on it. So anyway, uh, this is where we are right now. It's about three pounds, four ounces, and our reset. There's that. Uh, I've not even uh, adjusted the uh, over travel screw yet, so I've got a little bit more to do to it. I'll probably put a fiber optic front sight on it. I'll leave the rear sight and probably black out the dots so there's not just a whole bunch of dots bouncing around up there. I just want one red fiber optic on the front and just blacked out on the back. All right, guys, thanks for watching.